Hi guys, today we are working on finger strengthening exercises using Play-Doh. And we're using some dough that we have here in our house, um, but you can use clay, you can use Play-Doh, slime, you can use kinetic sand, you can use therapy um, dough, you can use any material, therapeutic, you can use any type of material that you can squeeze and manipulate. I'm going to walk you through some finger strengthening exercises and you can follow along with the video and do the finger strengthening exercises with your own Play-Doh at home. Um, and then just, that's it, have fun. Okay, so let's get started. First is opening that container because that's such a great functional fine motor task that really works on hand strength. Okay, we picked out one color, pulling it out of the tube of therapy, of Play-Doh, um, you're going to start with just some gross grasp squeezing, squeezing that dough and manipulating it between your hand, squeezing it and get your hand warmed up. Next, we're pressing it down on the table and spreading those fingers apart. This is a great next step because you're pushing down onto the table and you're really getting aware of finger strength and how much pressure you need to press on that Play-Doh. Next, you're going to squeeze it together and make a nice long thread. Press one finger into the dough along the length of it. This is finger isolation happening here. You can also use any finger. You can work on pointer finger or any. Next, the transition here is creating a little snail. Kind of looks like a snail, sort of not. Next, squeeze that dough again with your hand to make a fist. We're going to roll it on the table to make a Play-Doh snake. You can make it as long or as thick as you'd like. We're going to pick it up and squeeze between the thumb and each fingertip. This is finger and thumb opposition, and it takes a lot of fine motor control to manipulate that thread of dough within the hand. Next, press it down on the table and push little dots in along the dough, and then you can put each finger in. Again, make another snail with that Play-Doh. He looks a little cuter this time. Next, you can squeeze again as another transition in between the exercises. Give it a couple of squeezes. Next, we're going to put this Play-Doh down on the table and roll it along the palm of the hand. This really wakes up the muscles in the hand. Squeeze that again. You've got a nice round Play-Doh ball there. Pat it into a little ball and you're going to squeeze along the outside edges of that circle, kind of like you would open a doorknob you're going to have some wrist mobility going on. Next, you're going to work on tripod grasp and pinching with just the tips of that Play-Doh. Pull up little bits. Next, that transitions really well into rolling little balls of Play-Doh with the fingertips. This is such a great strengthening exercise for the intrinsic muscles in the hand, improving arch development, thumb, and finger opposition, getting a tripod grasp, a three-jaw three chuck grasp going on. Um, you're working on distal mobility of the fingertips and thumb, um, open thumb web space and separation of the sides of the hand. Next, you're going to press each one of those little Play-Doh balls. Those ones got stuck together, that's okay. Press those down into the table and then you're going to pick them up and do a little bit of finger and thumb opposition, pad to pad. Press each finger, each one. Okay, you can gather those all up with the Play-Doh ball. Squeeze it again as another transition. Next, we're working on that thumb stability, working on just pressing that thumb down into the end of the Play-Doh. This is another great way to work on open thumb web space because you're isolating that distal joint of the thumb. The next is a form of a tendon glide exercise where you're keeping your fingers straight except for the big joint at the end of the, at the hand and the thumb and press it kind of like your, um, kind of like, you know, little puppet. Next, you're doing another form of a tendon glide exercise where with some resistance, you're pulling the fingertips into the palm. And then next, you'll put that Play-Doh down on the table and really spread and push 
extend those fingers out into the Play-Doh, roll it up, and you can squeeze again. That's it. That's all for the Play-Doh exercises. Press it down into the container, make sure it's nice staying in there, and then put that lid on. That's another really great functional exercise. And that's all for today. That's all you've got there. So have fun with this exercise. Let me know how this finger strengthening goes with Play-Doh, what you use. Do you use slime? Do you use Theraputty? Um, have fun, and I will see you next time with some more therapy tools. Bye.